Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, September 17, 2023. 52 degrees at 7.22 a.m. and I am your host, Bakamal. And I'm still a sinner. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star, Michael. My brother, Prince and co-star, Max. I'm not quite sure where sister, princess, and co-star, Elsie is. Brother Prince and co-star Sullivan J. Ballbreaker is outside somewhere. Uh, we got our fake fire going over there. We've been up since about 5.15 a.m. And we've had our prayers, our coffee, our readings. Just enjoying this quiet Sunday morning. Thinking a lot about where we're headed to. And we're going to make a lot of decisions and do some things here. Uh, and we'll get into them in a bit. Let's just do a recap from yesterday. First, we, after coffee and wake up time, we bake some bread. And I forgot it was in the oven. So instead of baking for 20 minutes, it baked for a half hour. And I haven't tried it yet. So I'm either going to have some bread with some crunchy crust on it or a couple new door stops. Went for a little ride after that. Went to go visit someone I used to work with and he was not home. I haven't been able to reach him by phone. Just want to catch up. I don't know. I keep thinking about him and so when things like that happen I try to reach out to people like that and see, you know, whatever. Um, but I did end up riding about 10 miles, went to Marine Market and picked up a couple things there, stopped at the Farmer's Market and had an awesome conversation with someone, Thaddeus the Mushroom Guy, um, and about the insanity of this world and how it's gotten that way and how it's so, what's perceived as normal now is so acceptable to so many people. And for me, it's not, and I cannot accept it, and I will not accept it, because it's not right. It goes against all reason, sanity, and rationality. These laws being passed and things that are happening. And he told me, just hang in there. You're not crazy, you know. And I knew that, and I know that. And uh, But it was just good to see that there are people out there that see how nutty this is, and it's not right, and... You do what you got to do to deal with it and live your life and try to live in peace, you know. And have some quality life and enjoy life and the beauty in the world that God created. Oh boy, I got a drippy beak. Well, no Kleenex handy, so there you go. <laughs> Didn't want to disturb Mikey. But after that, I came home and showered and had lunch, had a bowl of uh, my lentil soup, and having trouble with one of my burners again. It's not the burner, it's the where it plugs in. So I think it's time to clean that out. I'll look at it today and see if that's what's wrong. I'll just put some degreaser on it because, quite frankly, I get a lot of boil overs and it's just adding up is what's happening um so i'll get a toothbrush and some oven cleaner and spray that off and wipe it down and see if we can't make that that work again it's probably all it is so we'll take care of that but after that went to the friendship room to help out uh they're getting a new roof on over there and so we didn't serve in the dining dining room we went to making bagged meals to go. We had pizza, a nectarine, chips, and some kind of dessert bar or Pop-Tart for dessert. We made up 50 meals, gave them all away, and a couple of pizzas. And I scored a pizza too, and some corn and some cucumbers that are locally grown. So that's going to be part of my meal today, is that corn on the cob and some cukes. Uh... Came home, hung out with the loves. Oh, I'm going back to... They're, they're getting a new roof on the 
friendship room um, and, and it's a rolled rubber roof and whatever they were doing, pounding on the roof and doing whatever they were doing, it was creating all kinds of dust and mess coming down into the dining room and on all the tables. And I joked with Randy, it's almost as dusty in here as it is at my home. So anyway, uh, worked with Glenn. We had some good conversations. There's that Sullivan. There's Sullivan J. Ballbreaker, Esquire. Came home. Um, it clouded up and it rained, and we were out here lying on the porch, and we actually dozed off during this rainstorm, and it was so nice to be sitting here and enjoy that. A little bit of thunder and lightning later, or sh I should say lightning and thunder. Started watching a movie called no, Red to the Loves from our book called Mr. M Murder by Dean Koontz, uh, and then watched a movie. I can't remember what the name of it was, but fell asleep watching it, and here we are. So we're going to take a quick break right now. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that one little bit. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I got a phone call yesterday from someone that I know that has their own painting and power washing business and he called me and asked me if I could help him out on a job and he thought it would be this afternoon but it ends up we're not going to be able to do it till Tuesday. So hopefully I'll be picking up some work there. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about some changes I'm going to be making in my life. Uh, I'm thinking of getting rid of my phone and Verizon service. I think I'll pay it off. It was insane. If I bought it and had the three-year program to uh, stayed with the three-year program, service program, the phone was like $350. But if I just wanted to buy it outright, it was $700. And I'm like, eh. But I was, I was done with my other plan, had my other phone paid off. And I don't know why the hell I did it. I should have just stuck with the other one. And I'm regretting doing it. And I'm thinking I'm getting rid of it. Because it's $100 a month almost for my service. And it ain't worth it. You know, all it is is every update on upgrade on this phone is just giving more information to whoever. There are more things happening to it that I do not approve of. You go in and set controls to make it be more private, but no matter what, they're still collecting information from you. And do I really need that? And the same with a vehicle. For how little I drive, I think I'm going to be getting rid of my vehicle. Uh, you know, literally, I mean, I probably maybe drove 1,500 miles this year and I probably biked over 4,000. So what do I, what do I need my truck for? You know, really, uh, I can use taxis, I can use dial-a-ride. If I need to, I can rent a vehicle. So I think that's going out. Uh, internet service is nearly $100 a month also. For what, you know? That one I might hang on to. But I think as far as a phone, I might go back to a landline. Um, but I'm cutting back and, and getting back down and doing as much as I can to get off the grid here because... It's just nothing but constantly going up, up, up. And what are you getting but invasion of privacy? Who knows what they're collecting on us? And what are they collecting it for? All this information. No matter what you do, you got to sign in, create an account, and then who knows where all that information's going. But I've had enough of it. I'm, I'm, I'm checking out of this damn world, that this insane world, you know? My life and my peace throughout my life comes with staying connected to the world God created, not the one man created. And I'll need to do things like go grocery shopping or whatever, but I can do that. If I got to walk, I'll walk. If I got to ride a bike, I'll bike. I've done it before, I'll do it again. I know there were times way back when, I remember the first time I sobered up, I was making a minimum wage, working at a minimum wage job, making like five twenty-five an hour. And I had more money than I knew what to do with. I, I am a very simple man. I live a simple life. I got certain expenses, uh, you know, but mostly it's this, these food, these cats, all this other stuff. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's just ridiculous to have to pay all that 
for what you're getting, you know. Not, nothing but greed heads out there. Everything's turned into a corporate mindset. The ruling elite are just getting richer and richer and richer. And it's either going to be rich people or poor people, which as far as things go, as far as what you look at as income and that, yeah, I'm a poor person, but not really, not really. And it's taking your freedoms away being connected to all that bullshit. So I'm going to do what I can to cut myself away with it. If I have to get a job at McDonald's two blocks away, I will. But I've pretty much had enough of it, and I'm going to break away from it as much as I can. I just don't need the grief. And we're at the 11-minute mark. We're going to close for this one out uh, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, crack, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul. Piss off. Thanks for not tuning in. Have a wonderful Sunday.